Hi everyone, do you know what's better than having one confetti box to open? It's having two confetti boxes to open. So anyway, I hope that you stick around to join me as we open up these boxes from the past few months and yeah, see what's in them. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. As always, I am super, super excited to see you guys. Um, I cannot express how important you are to me and how blessed I am to have you in my life. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart for all your support. And if you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button right there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. So today I am doing some confetti boxes. One just came in last week. One came in about two months ago. Yeah, today's the day I said I am doing a few videos. Well, the last few days. And I'm going to get these done today. I've got my counterpart here today. I've got uh, Mr. Griffin. I don't know if he's going to poke his head over here, but if he does, we'll be sure to... Oh, he's laying down, so he's such a good boy. I love having him here. But I do have my cup of coffee to start things, and I have got my Smart Sips, and it's uh, the uh, Caramel Brulee Cappuccino. So, so good. I am loving my Smart Sips coffee. Hmm so good but let's get into this first box here and i think this was um maybe the october or november box and a confetti box it's a con confetti box so this is a collection of novelty items can be like paper goods or just kind of fun party supplies office supplies anything like that it's 19 dollars 99 every two months and i think it's about five dollars in shipping um Packaging is always very well done. I mean, this can be get locked out in the snow and rain and nothing's going to happen to it. They do an, an amazing job packaging. Maybe a little overkill, but um, yeah, so this is the first one. Usually the uh, confetti stuff is at the bottom and the pink is on top, but so let's get this out of here. Maybe for the next one I will take it out of the box. Because this, this part can be pretty noisy. Alrighty, so this is the bundle. And of course the rest of it is all packing supplies. So if you gift any of these. And they used to give you a gift bag too. But I don't think they've done that for a while. But um, yeah, everyone's got gift bags, right? Because we save them. And you can always use those for packing supplies. And my bundle confetti collection and i might have them backwards too so we will see Alrighty, so it's desk to impress is the theme and everything's in this cute little bundle here and oh, so excited to see what's in here See if there's an easy way to open it because if there's an easy way to open it you know i'm going to open it the wrong way and make a mess and dump everything out all over the place not that i want to but that's just how i am i'm a little klutzy okay so just to impress so it says home office home school work office either way here's a collection of journals notes and accessories to help you get organized for whatever comes next. Alrighty, so let's take out this first item. And it's, uh, it says sassy and classy. So we've got this, uh, just looks like note cards, paper goods. Alrighty. So we've got these note cards. Let's see if I can get in here without making too much noise. Okay, so we've got this first one. It's like a little heart here. And blank inside. And look at the back of the envelope. Isn't that isn't that so cute? So no cards are just really, really nice. We're just kind of sending like a quick thank you to someone or you're thinking of them and it looks like they're all the same. So that's pretty cool. It might be different, but I got two boxes to do, so we're gonna kinda gonna try to move along a little quicker. This next item. This is really cute. It's a nice kind of portfolio here. Got this nice little pool pad. And 
open it all the way. And it's a nice little journal in here. A little leather sleeve right here to maybe hold your pages down or put some notes down. Looks like it's lined paper, but there is look like um, hexagon type squares. Kind of like a watermark in there. Quite a few pages in here for keeping some kind of journal or notes. And it's just a really, really nice quality. Love the black and white theme. Really, really nice. Alrighty, so next we have, it says it's a pencil pouch. And it's uh, like black and kind of like a cream. Got a little thing here. It says flourish. Maybe it's blue. This one's blue. It looks like we have two pencils in here. So like a blue and white, and then the other one's like a floral. Alrighty, I thought it was black, but I think it is going to be a kind of uh, blue and white little pencil case, so that's nice. And next, looks like we have um, maybe a paper clip. Yep, a paper clip with a tassel here. So just a fun little paper clip. Alrighty, here we've got a bookmark. So we can get it out of the packaging here. This is really cute this month. So everyone looks better with a book in their hands. You do tend to look maybe a little smarter. Maybe I should start doing that, huh? Little pom pom here. So just a cute little bookmark. And it looks like we got some more notepads. A notepad caddy, five by seven, hundred sheets in here. So it just looks really nice and professional when you have this on your desk in the office. And this is what I do mostly when, when I get a lot of these paper goods is most of these notepads and post-its end up on my desk at work because, yeah, I write a lot of notes. Yeah, so this is going to look really nice on my desk. And we still got some things in here. So this was a really good month for me. So it says notebook. Let's try to open this up. So just nice pastel pink and then some black graphic designs here. And it looks like a lot of this first month is from X and O Paper Goods. Let's see if I can take this off to see what it looks like inside. And it's a plain pa paper inside, but it's got this uh, design on it. So just a nice little notepad. Really nice. Yeah, looks like we've got the last item here, and it's another notebook. So this is uh, really good. A lot of notepads in here, so whether you keep a journal or you want to keep one at your home office, um, or to and take some to work, it's just or share with somebody. Just a really nice one. So we got this nice little binder here. Hard. It's got these little uh, gold little things on the end, kind of like what you put on the staircase sometimes to keep the dust out of the corners on the inside. So we've got lined paper and then just a nice little binding on the side. What I like about these is that you can kind of open it flat like this to work on it. So anyway, that is everything in the first box. I am going to shut this off and then take everything out of the wrapping on the other one so that we don't spend a lot of time on that and I will be right back. I'm going to have a sip of coffee in between too. Alrighty, coffee breaks over. So anyway, I did open up those little notepads and there were some different designs in there. So one said bonjour, love ya, and then the one with the, the heart. So that is very, very cool. Alrighty, so I took the other one out of the box, but I didn't take it out of the plastic yet. So this is the one, I believe that's for the uh, February, January, February or February. Yeah, it must be January, February. And this is called Treasure Hunt 2. Who doesn't love the thrill of a treasure hunt? We've curated some of our favorite treasures just for you. So start turning or oh, hunting through this box to see what they are. Alrighty, so I'm excited. That last box was really pretty good. It had some really nice note paper, some journals, some notebooks. Alrighty, so there's nothing like a fresh manicure cannot fix. Nice. This is probably like a little pocket manicure set that you can put in your purse. 
going to hopefully not dump it out. All right, so got some tweezers, nail file, maybe a cuticle thing, some nail clippers, and little scissors. So just really nice. And this little leather case here. So this is a just really, really nice. And a nice addition to somebody's desk. Alrighty, so it looks like we have some more paper maybe. Some paper goods. So let's take this out of the plastic and see what it's all about. So it's got the same kind of uh, messy XO again. XO paper. Paper goods. Um, alrighty, so one says inspiration, one says notebook, and one says goals. And again, this is a, it's got plain paper in here. So this is kind of like a peach colored paper with some white designs, plenty of paper. That was inspiration, notebook. It's the same, but pink paper. And then goals. I'm sure this must be green inside and uh, light green inside. And again, just some white designs on it. So just really nice for a little gift or something for yourself. And this is a keychain. Reminds me of Star Trek, The Trouble with Tribbles. Does anybody have a, yeah, you guys don't remember that. Yeah, that's a fun episode. Showing my age again. Alrighty. Oh, so maybe it's a little camel, not a tribble at all. So a little of the cutout or a vinyl cutout of a camel. And then this fuzzy thing's the hump on his back. So just a little little fun keychain. All right, what's going to be next? All right, so this has a little sparkly star right here. And again, it's X and O, so maybe that's something new for Gibson. And it's uh, just a little lined notepad. And just the right size to put in your purse to carry with you. I see a ribbon, ribbon right here. So it does have this uh, little ribbon type marker. I think it's probably cut down, but so that you can kind of mark where your page is that you left off. And what is this big box? Don't worry, be happy. Does anybody remember that song? It was kind of like the theme song we had one summer, going to the beach every day. It's one of the best vacations we had. We took like a month off of work. We saved up our vacation time and we just went from one beach to the other, the four wheel drive beaches on Cape Cod that kind of had a limit that maybe you could stay like five days and you had to be off for three days. So we would start off at, and sandwich at the Barnstable Line, Sandy Neck Beach, and then we'd go to the Nauset Beach down in Chatham, and then we'd go to Race Point down at P-Town and then start all over again. It was like the best vacation. And the theme was, don't worry, be happy. Alrighty, so let's see socks. So it's got like these little confetti things on it. So just a cute little pair of socks in here. And if you did want to gift it, it comes in this nice little box. So that's really nice. I'm running out of space here. We got a few more things. Alrighty, so we got this little notepad here. If you wanted to kind of keep a quick track on your desk at work or whether you had bills or if you put meals here for the week or what your appointments were just something really quick to look at so that's really a fun item to have and they have like the best file folders too they're coated really nice so they last quite a bit I just find it work quite a bit and uh, yeah I like to change them out and they're just kind of really fun so we got this kind of like a turquoise color and then, yeah, well, the same, same color, I think, just with uh, some quotation marks. Ooh, look at that. This is kind of rusty online, but in person, it's like a bright, kind of an orange, corally color. And then this one, it's looking kind of yellow, but it's a fluorescent green, lime green. And again, they're file folders. They're heavy duty. They're coated, so they last a little bit longer. And we've got one more item here. It's called a document folio. 
Alrighty, so let's open this up. And this one's by C.R. Gibson, which I think is kind of like owned by Confetti Company, right? And it's just like a black and white theme here. So let's take this off so we can get into it and check it out. Look at this little gold snap right here, and it is a snap. And a little lined a little bit inside so you can carry a few of your secret agent documents back and forth to work. Yeah, so this is cute. Yeah, I'm loving this. So anyway, these are the last of my two confetti boxes that I have. And yeah, so I did enjoy getting this. I just cut it again for about th uh, three shipments, so about six uh, months on this this time. And they do have a way of building up on you, so I will probably put this on hold for a little bit and just uh, kind of catch up with some other boxings so I don't get too far behind again. But anyway, it's a really nice subscription for $19.99 every two months. And I think it's like $5 for shipping. And yeah, so it's just some really nice office supplies for work, office supplies for your home, uh, whether you wanted to use it for journaling or regular note keeping or whatever. So just a really fun subscription. So anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. I appreciate your support more than you know. And thank you for your patience with me as I try to get through all my boxes. And yeah, we'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye.